Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to open up a copy of The Lamps Are Going Out, a uh, World War I title from Compass Games. Uh, it's developed by uh, Herman Lettman, uh, designed by Kirk Ullman, I believe, and the art's by Tim Allen, so recognize a couple of those names from uh, Victory Point game titles. Um, uh, according to Herman, this is definitely a soul-friendly game, so... Uh, Thought I'd get it and take a look. I don't have too many World War One games, uh, and this is card driven. Got some events to it. Um, gorgeous map, definitely. You can recognize Tim Allen's handiwork on this one. Uh, complexity ratings medium. Uh, solitaire ratings medium to high. Uh, so let's open it. See what's inside. Compass always does excellent, excellent uh, productions. Um, so I'm really excited about what's going to be in the box. So we shall see together. All right. Pop the lid. Wow. Air. It's pretty cool. It's interesting that through all the flipping, this is how it ended up with all the space, but it's kind of neat. So we got one deck of cards. I guess everything's just bound together. Uh, four dice. Uh, got a light blue, a green, a, an ivory, and a gray. And they do roll. Kind of tidy. Probably 10 millimeter or so. Rules of play. It's, one thing I like about their books is they're not they're not the slick. They're full color, but they're not the slick. They're more of a matte finish. Which is actually kind of appreciated as you read them in light lamps, you don't get glare. So they're pretty, I like the gradiated uh, color. Then not not you know plate. You got mostly a plain background, which is nice. Uh, take note, uh, other designers don't clutter your background with photos that make it hard to read. Don't need the watermarking. It looks like it is mostly rules, though. The whole book is coming in at 35, so 36 pages. Well, 36 pages. There's stuff on the back here. Um, the rules part. Oh, this is you got a playthrough. Ah, good. An extended example of play. That's good news. Rules for multiplayer, because uh, it is designed for two to four. Uh... Get some victory conditions. Always going backwards for some reason. I've always done that. All right. So yeah, looks like you actually go through the rules to page twenty-four, and there is a special section on solitaire as well. So that's helpful. Uh, is quite solo friendly. The nature of the event card mechanic allows the player to change hats quite easily as you can concentrate on one event card pull at a time. It's basically like a chip pull, which is just through the event cards instead of through chits, but that's awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Um, yeah, so it's all solo rules. Okay. Actual book. Love it. Player aid card. Two copies identical. So, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. These are the two central powers because it can go up to four players. So it's nice that they included uh, a card for each each actual player. That's the central powers. Here's the triple entente player aid. We also get two two copies. Very nice. Okay. Good cardstock. Again, not as glossy, kind of a kind of a satin finish. So again, not a lot of glare, not a lot of reflection. And then we have a single sheet of counters. Very nice. Not going to be counter dense. So that's always good. They're very nice. They're five eighths inch counters. This one is Quite well registered too. I always check those. Sometimes with the uh, compass, you'll get if you get like three sheets, one of them maybe slightly off and cut off some vital text. But this one looks like they designed it 
really well with the text and everything, not too close to the edges, so a little shift doesn't really hurt it too much. See a little shift here of the blue for the USA fleet where the yellow crept up, but it's not a big deal because uh, it's not it doesn't affect anything. So nice. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 160, 176 counters. Definitely have to be corner rounded, probably cut out, but good thickness. Again, as the whole, they kind of bend, but when you get the individual counters out, they're going to be just fine. And then the map. The piste de resistance. I said that really, really geeky, I'm sure. So that's my artwork on the map. Soldier there. They've represented all of World War One's theaters in a single map. And it's obviously uh, regional. So I'm not going to be able to open this whole thing on camera. So there's one side. There's the other. So it's eight sheets. So 34 by 22. Charts are on the map. Get your turn track. Your USA Declares War track. It's really beautiful. It's got it kind of that old world feel to it, like you could hang it on the wall. Train keys right on the on the chart on the map, so it'll help. Looks nice. So all right, so you get a map, the detective cards. We'll look at some of these cards here. And die rolls off the table do not count. So no matter how they land, you have to re-roll them. Let's take a look at the cards real quick so we can get into it without destroying the cards. There we go. When you have no fingernails, you do what you got to do. I have fingernails. I just self-manicure. You know, clippers are for rounding corners, right? All right, so we've got these are gorgeous, these are really nice. So, War News Daily first line formations placed in Eastern Allies Army, Dyro modifier plus two in any combat. Got dates on 1914 to 1915, so obviously it's gonna have an effect. So, we've got those, we've got let's see. Look at this back, let's tell us what we've got. The technology cards. For the central powers, we've got event cards for Germany. Got central ally event cards. Western Ally event cards. Triple Entente. Technology cards. And the Eastern Allies USA event cards. Okay. So there's two event card decks per side. And a technology or deck per side. So rules, uh, four uh, player aids, two for each side, uh, decks of cards, one sheet of counters, very low counter density, four dice, including the two on my floor, and that is what you get. The lamps are going out. World War One from Compass Games. Looking forward to playing this one too. Too many games, not enough time. Thanks for watching.